group here, but it's up there. All right, we got Nameless, we got David. Good luck, have fun. Right back here on Duel 5. This map sucks as Nameless, lol. <laughs> My ping sucks. <laughs> All right. So Nameless spawns, rocket launcher, that's gonna feel good. But Chain Gun's not gonna feel good on his chapped ass running away from David. And what the fuck, he hit that rail and another one on the spawn, what? Yo, hey. <laughs> Imagine ping 40, lol. <laughs> what a map. <laughs> What a rail, though. Holy crap. <laughs> and good rockets out of David. Holy shit. Okay, so after a rail like that, like, does that totally fry your brain? Does Nameless have anything left in him here? Well, he's got grenades. And, you know, close range pops. What the fuck? Okay. That's a good way to get back on the server and... Nameless, two frags for two on the grenade launcher. All right, and he's still managing to hold on to full health. Whoa, where did that rocket come from? What? <laughs> and the second rocket launcher was bait. That doesn't always work, but David dropped it, or rather left it up without uh, Nameless's foreknowledge. All right, so just a minute and a half in and a three frag lead for David and just crazy shots. I like this from David, just like holding on to this quarter and actually not even waiting for Nameless to come around the corner for that defensive chain gun. Just keeping him off his back. Switching over to rail. <laughs> Imagine 40 ping. <laughs> and missing all these shots. David should play Diabotical. It's really easy to hit rails from up above with the way the hitboxes work. Oh, and David's on the run. Eight health, and there we go. Nameless taking a frag back. Had to work for it, but now he's got a freebie on the lift. Yeah, if you don't get that frag, you, you, you should stop playing. Or, you know, keep playing a lot. Grind it out. Get better. That's always the mandate in Quake. Or go to bed like Myrmidon. That's all, also fine. All right, so two frags down for Nameless. If he can take this map off of David, it would be quite the accomplishment and set him up well for DM1, which is his pick. And at this point, he has to be, like, realizing that, like, uh, this map, uh, fuck, fine, I'll play it, but, you know, I hate it, so let's get it over with to, oh, wait, this could actually really go to my favor. Wouldn't even have to play a tiebreaker if I can pull this off. But control is a fleeting thing in Duel 5. But Nameless currently has the advantage. Not so much because of stack, but just knowledge. Like, he's keeping his back to this corner. He's keeping David on the other side of the map. Oh, and he heard some pain from the Hyper Blaster. So now Nameless is crossing the map intentionally in order to... Well, David's going to be here. I don't know about that. Like, what did what did David get... What did Nameless gain from, from going that way? That rail nearly took him out before the Adrenaline pickup. And Nameless switching over to SSG. Yeah, I like this. David doesn't. He's getting out of there. Another steal of that rail, but by this point, like, they've got plenty of ammo. Rockets are scarce. Rails are not. But Nameless finally getting a hit of his own there. And making it a one-frag game. Oh, but what a rough one. That rocket not connecting. He needs to escape up the lift. And David gives it to him. So Nameless coming out this direction. This is dangerous. But Nameless wants those 25 health packs. They're split, though. Oh, and the timing is, like, just a second off? Oh, my God. <laughs> that makes me rage so much. You want you want to... Not a whole lot makes me angry while dueling, but split health packs that are meant to spawn together that you're, like, depending on and you're counting off your fingers, like, okay, I could go here, get this, get that. Having them split is just the worst fucking thing. <laughs> Nice, Hyper Blaster coming out of Nameless. 
But now he's down four frags. This might be getting him back into like shrugging territory. Like, ah, fuck it. It's, it's D5. Nice. But halfway through, and it's still a close game. Oh, but that jump. You don't hear anything from David, and you you take like a neutral jump into the SSG corner. That's rough. But he's making it happen for Blaster here. Like, David is down to like, well, 80, 80. <laughs> Big whoop. I was making some pain sense happen with that, though. And it was like expecting a fight. And that's the thing. David has never given him a fight on the adrenaline. More than like once here. It's always been in the passages between the fights that David is doing the damage. Nice chain gun, though. That's what Nameless keeps depending on, but it's a blaster shot from David, maintaining his lead by four frags. But they're both going to be relatively weak, relatively unstacked. David won't have a railgun for a hot second. 7 HP for David. Adrenaline's back up, but still no armor. So where is Nameless in all of this? Well, hopefully with an armor of his own at the very least, he's burned a lot of time here just not being in front of David. He has to respect the rail, knowing that David has the top of the map now. But there was that moment earlier before where... You know, he went to, like, Hyper Blaster for no real good reason. David's at 1 HP. He, yeah, he didn't need to do that. But David at 1. Almost getting that rail. Looking for the defensive shot. But, like, anything, almost anything would take down David here. But with 21 HP, he makes a perfect shot, perfect frag. And I think, like, the next frag will absolutely seal the deal. Oh, and like for the first time in a long time, they just meet like mid-map without any real knowledge and unprepared to do any real damage either. But still, Nameless is like unwilling to play the, the peekaboo rail game. However, when when David's at this angle, like that's what Dual 5 kind of begs you to do. It, kind of, it doesn't force you to do it, but it is optimal. Maybe that's why Nameless is saying, fuck this map. But he just took that one back. If this is a relatively fast frag... I could be having the barest smidgen of hope. Oh, but these defensive rails coming out of David. You don't always get to put those two words together, but in David's case, you certainly do. Nameless takes the frag back. Three frags, two minutes. And David's caught here. Nameless needed the weapon switch, and he needed that hit. That's exactly what he was begging for. No hit, no frag, no time. Oh, all right, all right. David didn't even give that one away, but Nameless didn't need to hit that rail. He didn't need to miss that rail either. That was an important shot, vital. Like, he's getting these opportunities for spawn frags, and then he's whiffing his chance, which makes every frag take an extra 20 seconds, if not more. And that's time he just doesn't have right now. One minute, 20. Nameless switching over to rail. It's do or die time. Do not miss this next shot. Just don't don't miss. Easy. Shoot the man. David is going to be making some movement happen and some defensive shots happen, but he's not going to be giving away these shots. Nameless is depending on this hyper blaster. <laughs> if he already had a rail out, that would have been the angle. Oh, nice. But yeah, that is basically going to be GG for Duel 5. Back to DM1 for map 2. Nameless has won it before. Remember, in the upper bracket, he quit out of it because of, well, maybe even before, a crazy, crazy rail from David. But it, it goes to show, like, he's kind of dedicated to the initial moments of, of an edge fight. 
And if it doesn't go his way, then he's going to be, you know, he's going to be thinking he's in trouble. And let's be honest, yeah, on the edge, you, you kind of are, but there are things to do. He wasn't willing to do it, which means the next, like, two minutes of Nameless's night are going to be the most important. All right. David taking duel five. Let's see what happens in the edge. Here we go. Quit freezing. I honestly don't know where that's coming from. All right, David spawns shotgun, SSG. Nameless out on the upper rocket launcher. So neither ideal spawns for taking uh, this fight. But Nameless is happy to take the Mega and leave. That's going to leave the, the chain gun in the hands of David, which is honestly dangerous. But Nameless is going to have all the rockets. So full chain gun versus full rocket launcher. This is a fight that Nameless might be able to take if he knows which door to knock on first. Now, it's going to be limited time here before David is going to have that Mega and two yellow armors. Thankfully, Nameless will have uh, two yellows as well. But he's trying to keep him in the Mega Room to avoid a Rocket Launcher pickup. No, it's not pack a loss. It, it's definitely local. I'm getting it here too, but, you know, we'll, we'll struggle through. Poor little PC has been working just as hard as the rest of us as QuakeCon. Nice rocket hit. I'm not sure what that's going to lead into for Nameless, but he's thinking... Hyper Blaster! Hyper Blaster! What? Is this worth it? Come on, man! Like, you're playing with 100 ping too now. Like, he was all in after one rocket hit, and he dives down the stairs with a Hyper Blaster out. It's a good shot, shot from David. I don't want to take that away. Nameless, man, buddy. Don't tilt here. This isn't dual five anymore. But we can already hear that he's in pain from this chain gun. And David is just tossing his hand grenades. He was doing that before as well. And I think some of the times that David was tossing a hand grenade just to be defensive, he was caught with his pants down. And it wasn't a good idea. It cost him DM1 before. Oh, this shotgun. Two hits and a crater. Nameless down to negative one. Uh, is, he, is he coming back? Stay strong, Nameless. Steal yourself. Tighten that emotional belt and put on those, uh, those thought suspenders. You got this. Frags are just a number. Yeah, everybody in chat's like, uh, where's he gonna go? Nameless isn't really moving from here though, but he has taken away a yellow. He's pushed to the top of the lift. And he's kind of begging David to walk into a couple rockets. This time though, he's not <laughs> switching to Hyper Blaster and going downstairs. He's waiting to see if David pushes out a fight. Yeah, be careful with that Hyper Blaster. All right, he's coming back. How many hand grenades do you have? I'm counting hand grenades. <laughs> and Nameless going back down for lower rocket. I mean, he's got 10 already. It's just a little bit to like, maybe pull David out of the mega room. We have had a couple opportunities where, yeah, like David's eaten the rocket going out this door, which might be Nameless's way in. I love that rocket angle. Nameless getting a little bit of splash damage off. Playing outside, almost a perfect hit, down to 28 HP. There's like 125 down there, and he's barely able to get on that lift. Nameless can still get from point A to point B on DM1 faster than just about anybody. And he, th just like that, he's just about recovered. He needs a yellow armor at least. He's, he's going from 13 rockets back up. Okay, fine. Is he attacking again? He's trying to sneak a rocket over for the mega play. Oof. 
<laughs> DBT is like, fuck, more 3 these sectors. Oh, no. I, but Nameless has only green armor here. He's going to want a yellow. The fact that it's just a two-frag game means every single one of these rockets potentially counts. Good hit. He's got David in a corner up against the chain gun. It's a difficult angle. It's a difficult play, but Nameless is still here, and David is out of ammo. And we heard the water health taken. David could be getting a, a rail or going through the sewer. Yeah. No, he's still back here. Gonna kind of come back up this nice jump. And Nameless wanted that mega. He might pay for it here. David manages to escape again. <laughs> and so Nameless now waiting for the next mega. He's like effectively traded positions, but now he has to chase David, which is even harder in some ways than assaulting the mega room. All right. No, Nameless is actually running out of rockets. No wonder he kept diving down to the lower rockets for, uh, for more ammo. But Chingun on Chingun, he's all in on this. 59 health. Hyper Blaster, really, really? What is this? What is this? Why? One HP. Don't fall. Oh my God. What? What? <laughs> what is his attraction with the Hyper Blaster? It has its purposes, but as a finisher from Mega Room range, when you have like 28 health, that's not where it belongs. I I know I'm like yelling at like one of the best Quake 2 players on the planet who's been in the scene forever, but man, that. I just didn't feel right. <laughs> uh, three and a half minutes. And nameless. Yeah. Just... I understand it's frustrating. Having these... And uh, not being able to finish them. But nameless got one back up. He's back up to zero. David was caught in mid arena for reasons. Oh, there's good chain gun. He keeps wanting the chain gun to finish, and he keeps running out of ammo, of course. Which, by the way, PS shotgun. Mm. Three minutes here. It's literally only two frags, so Nameless is on the chase again. He's not doing what, uh, what, what, uh, sorry, what uh, Norman was doing and just going for the straight chase. He's breaking it off. He's keeping the lift at his back. If David wants to sneak back to the water arena, he's going to need to be very quiet and slow. Doesn't work out for him. Nameless hunts him down, catches him, finds him on the spot for SSG. And David is going to come back in for one more shot. He makes the super shotgun jump. Was that really his fight to take, or did he just want to show off the jump? It's a fucking rad jump, dude. I love that one. You don't even see it come into play very often. There it is. So Mega back in the hands of Nameless. Two minutes to play. Rocket's coming out of David, but he's so weak. Is it enough? Did the corpse save him? It might have. The corpse might have saved him there. All right, but Nameless needs, like, bullets, right? Like, he's got a chain gun. He's got no bullets. There you go. That's bullets. David's not quite committing to the water arena. Just checking the top. There's no reason for him to leave that back corner. And really, what we've seen before is that Nameless is able to, like, get really quiet, really sneaky, but he's going with hand grenades this time, which is what costs... David the DM1 before. 1 minute 20 seconds, 1 frag. Come on, Nameless. Don't dig down deep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, but he did the grenade jump. Making it really obvious, like, yes, I'm grenade jumping. Oh, but David still caught him with the perfectly placed, perfectly timed rocket. All of that effort to fool David. And nothing. 1 minute.
Oof. The chase is on. David's back out over the top. That's not a railgun, Nameless. And yeah, the, the railgun hasn't really come into play here. But the distance of these fights has been awkward for both of them. 30 seconds. David's back down at SSG. 11 HP for Nameless, and that is going to be GG called. David takes the second series 2-0, winning half of our $534 QuakeCon at Home prize pool donated, supplied by you, the community. Because let's be honest, work every three hours, good night. Uh, let's be honest, everything that Quake is, the highs and the lows, the ups and the downs, it all happens because we're all kind of fanatic enough to care, to put in the effort to make maps, to make mods, to maintain servers, to pay for those servers, to do productions, to run tournaments, to to like pour over seeds for every tournament of the last 10 years and make wikis to, you know, Quake people will do incredibly detail-oriented things, including make a tournament like this happen. So thank you all. Thank you to the QuakeCon at Home uh, support group. <laughs> Thank you to LG. Thank you to David for playing, helping with uh, everything in the tournament here. Thank you to everybody else for playing tonight as well. Thank you for all the donations and everybody else watching. Uh, I think I might actually need some time before I, I do some FFA. It, is, it has been a weekend. I don't want to underestimate that. Um, and I had my good run with the TS500. Good, good rail stuff. It's an MVB, MVD now, so I get to go back and look at that frame by frame. So I'm excited about that. But I think we need to make Quake 2 a more regular part of TSTV coverage again. It has been a little bit spotty because so much of the organization is like the Polish Quake League and like the one guy who speaks any English at all is David and his English is passable. Uh, <laughs> but I think we need to make something happen. Um, it could be anything really. And, and the exciting thing is Action Quake 2 is alive and well in, in Chile. If I get like one contact there who can hook me up with games, I will love to do some action two stuff. Um, when it comes to, uh, to RA2, there's like an open source uh, port of RA2 now. I really want to try that out, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good shit. So guys, I think that's gonna be it from us tonight. Uh, have a great rest of the QuakeCon at home. What little remains for those of you across the pond. Of course, it's already Monday. Have a great week, everybody. We'll be back very soon with a lot more Quake content. Have a good night. <laughs>